Card Party, an event that brings together Pokemon content creators, their viewers, fans of the Pokemon TCG, anime, video games, and whatever else you can think of Pokemon related. It's a place for everyone to participate and experience the huge expo halls filled with vendors, the live stage shows, panels, and fun interactive activities. It's a place where you can feel comfortable knowing that everyone has the same interest. And it's a place to make new friends and be part of the best community out there. The day has finally come! Welcome to Card Party 2! This event is taking place at the Hilton in Orlando, Florida and is hosted by Pat Flynn, also known as Deep Pocket Monster on YouTube. Friday was the first day and the event officially began at 2 p.m. However, you would want to get there early because if you don't, you'd get stuck in this huge line. I mean, look at how many people are here already to pick up their badge and lanyard. But don't worry, everyone there is just as excited and friendly to talk to, which does pass the time by. Since the main stage kickoff show starts at 7 p.m., I knew I had a lot of time to go check out the expo hall and vendors. But that would come to a screeching halt because once I picked up my badge and made my way down the escalator, I saw the Card Party 2 shop with exclusive merchandise. Before even coming to Card Party, I knew there was at least one item I wanted to get, and that was a new hat. Before a huge line formed, I figured I'd give more money to Pat. I also picked up some DPM sleeves, which you can usually find on his streams. I know it sounds like I'm dropping some rhymes, but I swear I don't do this all the time. Okay, I'll stop now. With a hat and sleeves acquired, I was now ready to check out the rest of the area. This event covered several expo halls and ballrooms, all with different activities ranging from vendors, meet and greets, TCG play training and tournaments, an arcade area, trick shot challenge, PSA and CGC grading zones, and the main stage where, you guessed it, the main shows, giveaways, and panels took place. This was my first card party experience as well, and I'll admit, I was a little bit overwhelmed trying to figure out where to go or what to do first. But that's not a bad thing, as it means there's plenty to keep people busy these next three days. Speaking of things to do, just like the previous card party had, there were exclusive cards to collect at the event. Each card comes with its own unique challenge on how and where to find them. There was even a secret card you could find by deciphering the message on the sheet. Now that I had a goal in mind, I had direction. This sheet was the perfect way to help me know where to go. By trying to find these cards, I could experience all the different places and activities Card Party 2 had to offer. As helpful as this sheet was, I also had my own goals. And one of those was to get creators to sign my binder. I got many signatures on Thursday night just by hanging out with some creators, but I needed to have Pat sign this binder. So in line I went, along with my wife Lindsay. The line took a bit to get through, but while we were there, we ran into Brad from TC's Rocket. Yo, we got it! Let's go! Let's go! He has been featured in several DPM videos, helping Pat out with his collection challenges. After a couple more minutes, we finally got our chance to see Pat. During his live stream the Monday before Card Party, he wished us a happy wedding anniversary. Cruddy Films, congratulations to you and also Lindsay. Lindsay, shout out to you. Happy anniversary. I hope it's a great one. We thanked him for it, and he was kind enough to sign both our cards and my binder. Of course, we had to bring Miltank and Houndoom cards for him to sign. After getting the signatures and picture with Pat, we headed on over to Bulk Avenue to see if we could find one of the exclusive card party cards. It was simple enough, it was just lying on the table. This is by far the cleanest you'll see it during this event, as cards just end up getting all over the table. After hanging out and picking up some cards from Bulk Alley, it was time to check off another name from my list of binder signatures, Danny Phantom. Danny has great content and analyzes pull rates and statistics of the TCG market when it comes to Pokemon cards. His content is very unique and he is a huge asset to the Pokemon community. With the meet and greets out of the way for the day, it was time to check out the show floor. But before I did, little did I know I was about to get stopped for my own meet and greet by a father and son. Turns out they watched my top things to bring to Card Party 2 video. This was my first time at Card Party, and it was just so surreal to think that people wanted to stop and take pictures with me or sign something of theirs. To everyone who stopped and said hi, thank you. I was just as, if not more, excited to talk to you and take pictures with you. When it comes to the vendors, this place is like Poke Heaven. So much Pokemon product goes around, especially high-end vintage products, which is out of the price range of many of our wallets. I know I set myself a budget, and buying any of these would blow way past it. Yes, even I took my own advice from the top 10 video and set up my own budget. But getting back to the vintage, I didn't even know so many base set boxes still even existed, let alone this many boxes just from one vendor. There were individual packs, light, heavy, weighed, unweighed, singles, you name it, they've got it. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot.
Before we move on, if you're enjoying this video so far, hit that like button as it helps me know I'm doing a good job and you're enjoying the content. Also, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification icon so you'll be immediately notified when my next video goes up online. Several raffles were also taking place at the vendor booths. I entered two or three, one of which was at Full Metal Energy. This was a booth I was going to stop by anyways because of the amazing playmats they have. Shout out to Gavin who also did the design for the PokeVault X binder that I've been having signed. I was going to buy a playmat online a few weeks ago before Card Party until I found out they'll be vending there. Anyways, while at the booth, I decided to enter their $10 raffle, which got me two raffle tickets and a spin at the wheel for a booster pack, and if I pull a secret rare, there's an additional prize. I figured, worst case scenario, I would get a Pokemon Go booster pack. Well, don't let me ever buy you a lotto ticket, because the worst case scenario indeed struck. But Gavin decided to give me a second Pokemon Go booster pack, which was really gracious of him. Now, it ain't all fun and games. There's a competition, a serious competition of life and death. Okay, maybe not so much life and death, but it does involve every single card party attendee, and that is Team Gold versus Team Silver. Before heading down the escalator, after getting your badge and lanyard, you can grab a wristband and choose which team you want to be on, Team Gold or Team Silver. Now, when I was a little Andre, I played Pokemon Gold. I played the heck out of that game, so naturally, I had to go with Gold. Evening came around and it was finally time for the kickoff show at the main stage. After finding our seat, we sat in anticipation. Featured creators arrived, excitement filled the room, the lights went down, and the screens turned on with a video montage of the content creators, Pokemon fans, and Card Party. Pat the Man Flynn came out on stage to a roaring crowd and introduced which creators will be on which teams. After doing a few interviews with the featured creators, Team Gold and Silver played a game called Part-Time Pokemon. How this worked was a very small detail of a Pokemon would be shown, and the team who answers what Pokemon that is correctly would score a point. After the game, it was time for some giveaways, and Pat called up on stage PokeSearch, who was hilariously dressed up as Miltank. For the most part, the giveaways ran very similar to his streams where the audience enters the giveaway, but this time scanning a QR code, and then random names are selected as winners. Once the first round of giveaways were complete, Team Gold and Team Silver had another opportunity to score points through a game called All in the Details. In this game, teams are given a small glimpse of a card. If they guess the name of the card correctly, they earn a point. However, an additional point can be scored if they also give the correct set it's from. Later on in the show, Pat showed all the different card party exclusive cards that can be found at the event, and a brief overview where they could be found except for the secret card. The final segment of the show was a pack battle between Cool Trainer Ryan representing Team Silver and Pokeball representing Team Gold. In this pack battle, they were opening up two packs each of Obsidian Flames. However, in the final round of their pack battle, they opened up packs from the 2001 set Neo Discovery. Cool Trainer Ryan started things off with his Neo pack and pulled a hollow Smeargle. It was now Pokeball's turn to open up his pack. There are only nine hollow cards that are valued higher than Smeargle. Unfortunately, Vault would fall short of beating Ryan Smeargle as the market value of the Polyrath Hollow was not as high. The main stage show concluded with Team Silver in the lead. Afterwards, there was a lot of late night trading going on all over the floors. Lindsay and I decided to go back to Bulk Avenue and find some cards to fill up our Pokedex binder. We picked up quite a few. I made a whole Excel spreadsheet showing which Pokemon I'm missing from the binder. But since it was getting pretty late, we ended up returning back to our hotel room and just crashed. That pretty much sums up day one. Were you at Card Party 2? Leave a comment down below. More Card Party content is on the way, including days two and three. So make sure you hit all the buttons so you are notified exactly when they are uploaded. Until next time, Keep on collecting and I'll see you guys in the next one.